laziest is Harry. Every royal member by hook or by crook must adhere to exhausting work by ex butter. The royal family, except Prince Harry all adheres to a more exhausting schedule of engagements and responsibilities than the public realizes, a former palace butler has claimed. Grant Harold, former butler to Prince Charles, worked within the Buckingham Palace walls for seven years, getting to know the senior royals personally. Mr. Harold, 43, described how he became familiar with not only the Prince of Wales, but the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge, and even the Queen. He described a punishing schedule of engagements for the senior royals, adding they didn't really do the kind of downtime that we do. He said, that was the thing that amazed me, how much they worked. They worked from start to finish. By the time they finished official dinners, for example, it was about 10.30 p.m. to 11 p.m. at night. He added this grueling and regimented lifestyle was something about the royal family that members of the public likely have never understood. He commented, I would often then see Prince Charles go back to his desk and carry on working. They didn't really do the kind of downtime that we do. I think that's what people don't get. I used to think it would be amazing to be a royal, what an amazing lifestyle. And it's not because it literally works every hour of every day. Grant recalled his own daily routine, where he would typically begin at 8 a.m. and clock off at around 5 p.m. On some days, however, he would be up at the crack of dawn to start at 6.30 a.m., and work through until 12.30 a.m. the following morning. This would be more likely if traveling with the royal family, he said. These particularly punishing hours were all self-inflicted, he caveated, adding, especially if there were drinks at the end of the evening. During his tenure as butler, he enjoyed a friendly relationship with Prince William and Gate, Duchess of Cambridge, who were not yet married when he was working for Prince Charles. He described how, because they were all of a similar age, they fell into a natural kinship. He recalled jovial conversations, recounting, I loved that, you know, the humor, the jokes, that side of it was great fun. I think it's fair to say I used to do a lot for the boys and Kate. Backslash. I got on really well with them and, in a weird way, I almost got to know them better because we were the same age. He added his role with Prince Charles was based very much on his responsibilities as an employee, whereas with young William and Kate, he was volunteering. He said, with Prince Charles, if I did something it was my main focus because he was my boss. But with them I was volunteering, and I was volunteering because I liked being around them. I liked spending time with them. This year is of course the Queen's Platinum Jubilee, marking her incredible 70 years on the throne. Her Royal Majesty has already started celebrations, with a tea party, specially commissioned portrait and even a limited edition bottle of fizz. But there are many more events yet to come, and one weekend in particular is set to reunite estranged brothers Prince William and Prince Harry. During the Queen's celebratory weekend, where people in the UK will get a special four-day bank holiday from 2 to 5 June, Prince Harry will return from America to join in the festivities.